Honors in Kenya are yet to resume uh, classes three weeks after schools reopen following a deadly flood that hit vast parts of the country between April and May. A report or a new report by Save the Children has revealed. Now the devastating flooding has severely impacted several sectors including learning centers that impeding the hopes of many school going children. Now as the situation prevails, Experts warn that thousands more students could end up out of school if urgent measures are not in place to improve this, their condition. Now, let's have more details of that in this report. The heavy rains that pounded parts of eastern Africa have stopped and the flood waters have subsided, but the ripples can still be felt across different sectors. For six years, Jennifer Jomo and her husband ran a school in Madhari, an informal settlement in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. But what the floodwaters did not wash away were flattened by demolition squads following a government directive that buildings built near rivers be brought down. The school was brought down because there was so much water here. In all these years, we had never seen water like that. It's a situation that halted learning at the institution. Today, the children listen keenly, trying to ignore the sounds from the other students. A local church offered to host Jomo students in the little church building so they can continue their education. They are among the lucky ones. A new report says about half a million Kenyan children have not returned to school after the deluge. The waters may have subsided in parts of the country. However, experts warn that they might have carried away the hopes and ambitions of the school children in some of the affected areas. Assessments done jointly by the Kenyan Education Ministry, Save the Children and UNICEF have shown that the rains damaged infrastructure in several schools, making them unusable for learners. Some roads have been cut off. The floods also injured people and washed away property, leaving some parents unable to pay school fees. A number of stakeholders have urged the Kenyan government to help to rebuild damaged infrastructure and support those affected by the recent floods. The majority of our students are back in school, but they are in a state of panic. And experts are warning that unless the government and other stakeholders act fast, thousands of children could drop out of school, their dreams wash down the drain with the flood waters.